Mic check, one, two, one, two. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Tank B Chopping, and I'm back with another haircut tutorial. All right, guys, what we're going to be doing on this cut is a number two and a half on top and then a taper fade. We are going to be lining up the beard, adding some enhancements, you know what I'm saying? Doing what we got to do to make sure my client leaves the shop looking good. So as y'all can see, I'm taking my number two on my clipper. My lever is all the way open, and I'm going over the top. Uh, obviously, that two all the way open makes this a two and a half guard. And if you are interested in what tools I'm using, I am using the, uh, I'm going to be using the Pissed Off Barber's Demon and Phantom Clipper and Trimmer Combo. So once again, guys, I'm just going over the top right now, getting all this down to that desired link. And then what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go slightly shorter on the sides. So even though we did a two and a half on top, this is actually a number two on the sides. Uh, I like to do that with all my taper fades. I think personally, I think it gives my haircuts a good look you know what I'm saying and I feel that my clients you know they come to me because they're accustomed to the look that I give when I do my taper fade so nonetheless guys I'm debulking the sides with number two the closer I get to that parietal ridge area you know what I'm saying I mean really I'm not really using the flick eye motion I was gonna say I was but honestly I'm not because a two fades into a two and a half pretty easily you know what I'm saying so I really shouldn't have to do any like fading like flicking out and floating and all that but nonetheless, that's what we did on the sides. Now I'm taking my trimmer and I'm setting in my initial bald guideline where I want my taper to be. Uh, we are going to be doing like a mid to high taper. We're leaving the C cup slightly there, uh, but we are taking it pretty high. Now I'm going to follow that up with the shaver. And now I'm going in with my clipper all the way open, setting in my next uh, section. And as you can see, I'm still following that, that uh, rainbow shape. And then I'm going to close my lever halfway, work my way halfway into this section. And then I'm going to close my lever uh, one notch, uh, attack that line a little bit more, and then close it all the way and hit that line. And then I'm just going to do some slight lever play to get that part of the blend to come together. Now I'm going in with my one guard lever all the way open, basically setting in another section, but still trying to fade into that number two guard lever open. And then I'm going to close my lever halfway and then close it all the way and try, to, and try to attack that bottom line in that section. And now this is my 1.5 guard all the way closed. You can go in with it open or closed, however you decide to go in first. Uh, you know, either way works good. And now I'm going in with my one guard, doing some detail work. Here is my 1 16th guard doing some more detail work. Starting off with my lever open and closing it as needed. And as y'all can see, that blend's already coming together. Now I'm hitting the bottom of that blend with my trimmer. Going back to my zero guard or my 1 16th guard. And then we're going to move on to the edge up. So y'all know your boy likes to start off in the middle of my lineup. So I set in my first initial guideline in the middle and then I just work my way over to the C cup. But I wanted to talk to y'all about my uh, my method when I'm fading and tapering. As y'all saw me do, I did hit that, uh, hit that taper and I did a little bit of detail work. When you're detailing guys, you wanna make sure you're using whatever guards you feel are needed. Sometimes you don't need to use every guard, but sometimes you might. It just, it just differs and it varies from hair to hair. So do what you gotta do to get that blend to look, uh, to look good. But nonetheless guys, as you can see now, I'm just fading in my client's beard and then reverting back to a little bit of detail work in the taper. And then going back to that beard and fading that in. Now I'm going to go ahead and line up the back of my client's beard first. I'm going to make sure we have a nice sharp line. And then we're going to line up the top of my client's beard. Uh, basically following the shape that was already there. So there's really like no guessing when you do that. Uh, you, you just got to really follow what's there. Be careful. Try not to push that beard too far in. Then we're going to line up that mustache. And uh, I do want to give a shout out to my boy, the Pissed Off Barber, man. I appreciate y'all for sending me. Well, I appreciate you for sending me these tools. I know I did a video on them. And I think this is my first haircut tutorial with them. May or may not be, man. Honestly, I don't even remember. But nonetheless, uh, I appreciate you. Uh, and also, if y'all want to cop these tools, y'all can go to his website, thepissedoffbarber.com. And you can use my discount code TANK and it'll save you money on shipping. But uh, now that my client's beard is lined up, I decided to go back into the taper and, uh, you know, do some more detail work. I'm going in with my clipper with my number one guard lever open and then close. And now I'm going back in with my 1.5 guard. And this just goes back to saying what I said earlier, guys. Like, when you detail, you can use whatever guard you need to. I know I posted a video on TikTok and everyone was like, bro, you do too many steps. You jump around too much. But for me, that's what works. And even though it may seem like it's too many steps, I'm still getting my client in and out in a good amount of time. And once again, it just... It makes my cuts look like my cuts, you know what I'm saying? Like I do what I do to make my cut look like it's my cut. And that's and I think that's why clients come to me because they want a tank cut, you know what I'm saying? So nonetheless, man, you don't gotta follow these rules, you ain't gotta follow these steps, but it's a good uh 
it's a good way to start if you're trying to learn you know what i'm saying once again you, you just got to do what you got to do to make sure that your clients are happy but uh nonetheless guys y'all can see i'm moving on to the back taper uh i'm using a different clipper here i am using my custom fx from babyless uh with the upgraded 245 motor and battery uh here is my one guard lever open I'm trying to blend it to this bulk and then i'm gonna close my one guard and try to blend out that line now I'm going in with my zero guard or my 116th guard open and then close it halfway and then I'm going to close it all the way to try to get that bottom of that blend to come together. And I think I'm going to revert to my 1.5 guard after this. Yeah, so here's my 1.5 guard open and this is basically going to uh, basically going to blend into that number two that we did on the sides and then I'm going to close my 1.5. Now I'm doing some more detail work. This is my one guard lever open and then closed. And remember guys, a lot of the haircut, at least with my steps, is in the detail work. Like I, I put in my steps, I take out my lines, and then I go back and do a lot of detail work. But like I said, that's my style of cutting. And for me, it works really good. And you know, it just gives me a good product. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and add some enhancements. As y'all can see, uh, I'm giving a good amount of spray on my client's head, but it doesn't give it a fake look. Like sometimes I see a lot of people put in way too much enhancements like they're just letting like laying that paint on there really really thick and that's not something i like to do so i'm just spraying i'm not spraying enough to where that line looks nice and sharp but also to where it looks enhanced and it doesn't look too fake though also you know what i'm saying so that's just my little uh tip on when it comes to doing enhancements try not to spray too much you know a little bit goes a long way but i mean i understand if you do have to spray a little more than others a little more than normal on certain parts of the head you know what i'm saying like i, I get it But we're going to do the same thing to this side that we did to the opposite side. And once again, guys, as y'all can see, that haircut is looking good. You know what I'm saying? I, I think I give my clients a good product. You know what I'm saying? I may be just hyping myself up. But now I'm going in with my 245 pencil. And on this side, when I use the pencil, I laid it on a little too thick. So when I try to blend it out, it's not going to come out completely. I have to go over it. Well, you, all, you should always go over it with the razor. But y'all going to see it right now. When I hit it with the trimmer, it's not going to come out a lot. I'm going to have to go back over it a couple times. But that happens sometimes, guys. But you want to make sure you're fading that pencil line out. Do not leave that pencil line in there so hard. I see a lot of people, when they do this, they leave that pencil line in there and don't even blend it out at all. You want to make sure that you blend it out as you see me doing here. And all you have to do to blend it out is go over it a couple times with a trimmer and then hit it with the razor. And nine times out of ten, it's gonna it's gonna come out or it's gonna come out enough to where it looks a lot better and a lot more natural than just a harsh as you know chalk line. So I don't like the way that looks. I don't think clients like the way that looks. I think you're supposed to blend it out. You know what I'm saying? So make sure y'all blending out y'all y'all pencil line if y'all are using the pencil. And once again, guys, as you can see this line looks really harsh there, but I did go over it with the razor and uh, it, it made it lighten up a lot. But this side, I used the pencil a little better, as y'all can see here. I didn't lay it on too thick this time around. And that happens sometimes, guys. Like, we're not all perfect. You know what I'm saying? I mess up a lot when I'm, well, not a lot, but I do mess up sometimes. As long as you can fix it, that's all that matters. So now I'm going over this side of my client's uh, hairline with the trimmer. Basically, once again, just fading out that pencil line. And as you can see on this side, that pencil line seems to fade out a little easier. And it ha once again, it happens like that sometimes, guys. You just got to do what you got to do to make sure that these cuts, you know, come out fire. So now I'm going to hit him with the razor to really get this pencil line to look nice and finished and just give it, a, a, you know, a better look. Damn it, Tito. So y'all see how this is looking a lot more faded and it just looks a lot better than just a harsh line? That's what I'm saying. You want to make sure you fade that out and blend that out properly. And remember, when you're using that razor, make sure you stretch that skin. That way you lessen the chance of making your client. And then we're going to do the same exact thing to this side. Stretch that skin, hit everything with the razor. That way, this not just that, not just for the reason that the, well, I can't even speak properly. Not The only reason to do this is not because you want to fade that pencil line, but we want to make sure we get all that excess hair also. That's what I was trying to say. But all right, man, y'all check it out. This is how my boy came into the shop looking. And this is the finished product. 
Y'all let me know what y'all think about this haircut in the comment section. If y'all like this video, please make sure to smash that like button. Also, if you're new to my channel, make sure to subscribe one time for your boy. Remember, guys, if you want if you want to purchase any of these tools you seen in my video, I have the link in my description. So y'all check that out. Make sure y'all use my discount codes. If you want a haircut from your boy, you can go to my website tangbechopping.com. You can book there. And uh, that's basically uh, that's basically it, YouTube. I really appreciate y'all for watching. Until next time, let's go. Yeah.